For us here in Colorado, wind is going to be the big story. You can already see the U.S. and the state flag over the Capitol building blowing around quite a bit, and the wind really hasn't even picked up yet. Sun will be up at 641 this morning, so we've got about a half hour or so to go. Here's the wind forecast. By 9 a.m., gusts will be near 25 miles per hour. By lunchtime, 30 miles per hour. And then by 3 p.m., 40 miles per hour. So you see the trend. It's nothing but up as the day goes on. It's going to get quite windy during the afternoon, and then the wind will be pretty persistent through the evening. It may even pick up a little bit uh, between about 9 p.m and midnight to be maybe another surge as our cold front rolls on through. We do have clear skies right now, so a great view of our waning gibbous moon, 96% full above us. We will start the day with a lot of sunshine. Clouds will increase later on as this whole system moves in our direction. It's over northern Wyoming right now. A lot of snow uh, north of this front up in the Billings, Montana area. It's almost like a blizzard up there in some areas. The front reaches down toward the Colorado Wyoming state line by late afternoon. We're going to have a westerly downsloping wind out ahead of the front. That's why we'll be so warm today with highs in the lower 70s in the Denver area. And then as that front goes by again between about 9 p.m. and midnight, we could uh, see an isolated rain shower develop in Denver. It's going to be tough because that downsloping wind is going to try to prevent any precipitation, but still an isolated shower possible, maybe just enough to get the pavement wet. In the mountains, we'll see some snow, about one to four inches of snow for the ski areas along the I-70 corridor down toward Crested Butte and into the Gunnison area. We'll see some snow tonight as well. And then the front makes its way down into southeast Colorado by tomorrow morning. We'll be behind that front, so obviously a chilly day for tomorrow. We're also concerned about the elevated fire danger with all the wind and the warm temperatures today. Low humidity as well. Red flag warning for just about everybody to the southeast of Denver. Western slope included as well. Temperatures will go from the lower 70s today down into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees for tomorrow. And it's deceiving because the wind's going to be coming out of the northwest gusting uh, still over 30, 35 miles per hour tomorrow. Make it feel cooler than 51. Wednesday, Thursday, we see improvement. Temperatures warm back up into the 60s. And then Friday, it's a really tough forecast at this point. A cold front's going to sneak in from Nebraska. We're going to go with highs in the 50s right now, but Andrea, it could end up being cooler than that. I'm